That's right, uh, Paul. This is the seventh Steven Siller 5K run. Now, for those of you who don't know who Steven Siller is, he was a New York fireman who lost his life. He ran three miles on foot from the Brooklyn Battery t Tunnels all the way out to Ground Zero. And this morning, here in Honolulu, we have the first ever 5K run. We have over a thousand runners. We're getting ready here. You can see volunteers are already lining up along Ford Island Bridge, where they will be running down and back and ending up here at the Richardson Park. And this morning, we actually have some very special guests with us. First up, we have here Glenn De Delara, who is the fire chief with the Federal Fire Department. Good morning, Glenn. Good morning, ma'am. And how has this entire race, how have you guys been involved with this, and how has it affected our local firemen? Approximately m a month ago, Battalion Chief John Labera and John Carroll from New York City Fire Department came to Honolulu to look for somebody to help sponsor and host the Ben Seller one. So the Federal Fire Department uh, took the lead on this in uh, helping with our apparatuses and our firefighters to help out with the run. And this is very special. This is the first annual everyone here. They have this every year actually in New York City. Now they're trying to spread it across the nation. And in addition to uh, Fire Chief Glenn, we also have uh, Fire Deputy Fire Chief uh, Galen Enriquez here. Good morning to you. Good morning. And we also have Navy Chaplain with the Federal Fire Department. We have Doug Wade. Good morning. Good morning. How is this? Uh, nor, you know, normally we're going to be starting very soon. Uh, the racers are starting, and you guys are actually going to be participating as well, running in full gear. Is that correct? That's correct. And are you ready for that? We're ready. I'm sweating just looking at you. <laughs> it's pretty hot, but uh, we'll, we'll endure. How has this helped or you know, affected the morale of um, local fire departments here? I think it, it provides an opportunity for us to uh, you know, just come together and to, uh, again, to witness such an event again, this is the first. Although this is the tenth anniversary mm -hmm. of the, uh, you know, the September 11 uh, uh, events, but uh, again, this is just a great honor just to be a participant in this. And and I wanted to ask you, Navy Chaplain Doug. I mean, you opened up the ceremony here earlier. It's so touching. It's such an emotional day for so many people here, me included. I got very emotional and teared up. Um, you know, what do you feel the spirit is here today, ten years after that attack? Well, I think that, uh, you know, I heard on the, on the news this morning, I was watching the news, and, uh, and people in New York were talking about how this is really a day of union. You know, it's a day of, of bringing people together, and that's what it's all about. You know, 9-11 uh, really brought us together as a nation, and I think this, is, this event is bringing us together here, and uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful event. It is, and we're hoping next year it'll be an even bigger event. Again, we're starting here at the Richardson Field. You can see the runners already taking charge. A lot of these guys, like here, we have Doug, Glenn, and Galen running in full gear. It's going to be a warm one, but they're going to be ending up back here at Richardson Park after running back down the bridge and back. And, of course, we'll have more interviews coming up later. For now, I'm Yasmin Dar reporting live back to you in the studio.